Hey YouTube, this is going to be doing a quick run through of my subwoofer installation in my 2012 Ram 1500 limited crew cab. So uh, up front, you got a factory 180 amp alternator. And uh, I did upgrade the battery, um, not on purpose, that old, the factory battery actually went dead on me so I went ahead and just threw in an AGM. Nothing too high powered, uh, no excess power <laughs> AGM, but I mean it gets the job done and you know, wasn't too expensive. Um, zero gauge power run from the battery to the amp. It is oxygen free copper. Um, I do have a step down that goes from zero gauge to four gauge to the amp because the amp only accepts four gauge. But um, the amp itself is located in or installed in the storage bin here. The amp is a Rockford Fosgate Prime 1200D. And um, it fits nicely in there. You know, overheating issues with it being sealed in there. It does get warm, but I don't really hammer the crap out of it a whole lot. So, you know, no overheating issues there. Um, I have the input to the amp from the factory wiring, which is located over there underneath the box where the old factory sub was. It runs over here to the amp. And um, I have a Stinger remote turn-on connected to the amp that's supposed to turn the amp on and off when it receives a signal, when it does and doesn't receive a signal with the factory stereo input, but I don't know if I have it wired wrong or what, but that doesn't turn the amp off. It always stays on. So unfortunately I have it set up to where I just unplug a wire from the amp, a small wire, um, to turn it on and off. So if anybody has any tips on how to fix that, I'm all ears. But moving on to the subs, subs themselves are Rockford Fosgate. P3 12s. I was really debating on the between the SA 12s and the P3s, and uh, honestly, I went with the P3s simply because they have the option for the grill to order the grill extra. Um, I just wanted that protection against you know um, wear and tear on the surround, and more so the cone on the uh, SA 12 because it has a dust cap that pops out, and I just didn't want you know, the liability of that becoming damaged or worn out with the back of the seat, underneath the seat here. So I'm with the P3s and they don't sound as good or have the output as SA-12s, but you know, for what they cost and what they are, I mean, they're a great budget sub or value sub, so to speak. And so you know, I'm happy with them, you know, maybe in the future, if I get a little adventurous, I might um, upgrade to the SAs, but for now they're good for what they are. And then, the box itself is a Fox Acoustics Fox box for the Ram Crew Cab. Sorry, excuse the scuff on the front there, but it says Ram embossed on the front. Got the little Ram logo there. And it is ported back underneath the seat there. Um, the volume, three and a half cubic feet, and it's tuned somewhere between 33 and 36 hertz. I can't remember for sure. But. Um, it wasn't too hard to install. Really, the hardest part was taking off the lids that come on these storage bins here and uh, taking out the factory sub. But besides that, and installing the spacers that lift your seat frame up, um, you can't see them from here, but there's a half inch MDF spacers that come with the Fox box that you have to install, which raises the seat up somewhere between one half inch to an inch, which is not really noticeable unless you're a really tall person. So, um, no complaint there. But, uh, anyways, overall, I like it. Um, the only thing I might change is, you know, if I could go back, is get it black carpeted versus the Rhino Liner finish. But even so, it doesn't stand out too much. Um, and uh, it does cover the cup holder here, which is, excuse me, sorry, is a downside. But, you know, I don't haul passions a whole lot, so not too bad. But, and the seats are able to fold down and sit comfortably you know over the box there without any fitment issues so anyways overall I like it I think it's a great value and it fits perfectly you know and does exactly what I need to do so without talking too much more I'm gonna move up here um, I have my laptop here Bluetooth to the factory head unit uh, it's just a yeah, factory head unit, and it's got the factory Alpine 9-speaker system. The uh, factory speakers, zero mid-bass, especially without the factory sub. Luckily, the 212s 
you know, do the best I can, you know, to get that range of, uh, you know, probably about 28 hertz up. So, um, anyways, um, and they do pretty good, you know, without getting too distorted, if any really, you know, almost at max volume. So I was, you know, pretty Im impressed by that for factory speakers. You know, in the future, I'll probably upgrade them and uh, add some amps to that. But until then... So, um, I know I keep talking you guys' heads off, but the song's going to be Far East Movement, Dirty Bass, Decaf, obviously. Um, and I will say before the video starts, um, the Bluetooth does mess up occasionally, so I will apologize for that if it, you know, cuts in and out. Um, but hopefully it's not too bad, so. <sighs> Without talking too much more, here we go. And you can probably hear that vent flapping, which is pretty annoying, but I've learned to live with it. So I'm going to turn that down so I don't irritate my neighbors. But um, as you probably heard, it was cutting out a little bit from the bad Bluetooth connection. But, um, you know, like I said, the P3s, not my first pick with subs necessarily. But, you know, they um, you know, get the job done reasonably well. So um, I mainly just wanted to uh, point out how well that Fox box. I'm going to get back out and take a peek at that. But how well that fits underneath the back seat here. You know. Um, anybody looking for a decent 212 sub box for the Ram Crew Cab? Again, mine's a 2012, so I know it fits in the 2012, and it does fit some other year ranges. But for anybody looking for a box sub box that goes underneath the back seat with pretty respectable output, you know, I would definitely check it out. I mean, it's relatively expensive for what it is, but you know. Um, I've had good experiences with it, so I hope, you know, any potential buyers will too. So thanks for watching, guys, and um, see you next time.